Mwakilishi mwanamke wa kaunti ya Moranga Sabina Chege leo saa tatu asubuhi alijiwasilisha katika makao makuu ya tume ya huru uchaguzi na mipaka IBC akiendamana na mawakili wake kutoa maelezo kuhusu madai yaliyotoa kuwa kulikuwa na wizi katika uchaguzi wa mwaka 2017 The commission was found at fault not the jubilee party And Mr. Chairman, Senior counsel, you know, we, there is not the commission no, 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 on no, trial no, here. No, no, that's why I'm telling you. It's on not trial. the commission on trial. You'll, just you'll, confine yourself, issue, confine yourself issue. to the just, just matter to before us. You yes. have the last word. You have the last word. Yeah, you have the last word. I don't have the last word. Sabina Chege na Daiwa kutoa matamshi hayo alhamisi wiki jana. Hata hivyo mawakili wake wa kiongozi na seneta wa CIA James Orengo walisema IBC haina mamlaka ya kumshtaki mteja wao wala kusikiza kesi na kuiamua wakiongeza kuwa matamshi aliyotoa Chege hayana uzito wa kufunguliwa mashtaka. Properly restricted under Article 88 to conducting free, fair, transparent, accountable elections. But whether it is stolen or not whether it is to be it was stolen in the past at present or in the future is a jurisdiction that then would be outside of your ambit and it is only one for the court IBC hata hivyo ilipinga kauli hiyo na kusema kuwa katiba inaipa nguvu tume hiyo kuchunguza madai hayo na kumchukulia hatua mbunge huyo endapo kamati ya maadili ya IBC tampata na hatia the electoral code of conduct enforcement committee has jurisdiction and the legal system of the matter before it for hearing and determination we make the following orders one that the preliminary objection raised by counsel for the respondent on 15th february 2022 is hereby dismissed and two this matter shall proceed to full hearing Mwakili wa Sabina Chege sasa wanadai kuwa kesi hiyo itaipaka tope ya ABC kwani haikufuata agizo la mahakama ya juu katika kesi ya kura ya urais wa mwaka 2017 agizo hilo lilitaka ABC iweke wazi matokeo ya kura zilizorekodiwa kidijitali and therefore we are going to mount a challenge and a big one a big one because If ever there is one person now I can talk about in this country that is trying to preach the uh, the language of peace the language of free and fair elections and a country without borders or boundaries because she's been everywhere and I'm sure she's going to go everywhere uh, that person is honorable Sabina Chege that they have themselves in introduced the question of integrity of the 2017 election something that was not touched on by the honorable Sabina Chege and that we in turn indicated that to date that integrity is still in question because they are yet to comply with the orders of the Supreme Court and that issue will recur again at every other stage when we'll be dealing with this matter Viongozi kutoka muungano wa azimio la umoja wamedai mwenzao wanapigwa vita vya kisiasa I want to tell and speak directly to Mount Kenya region These are signs that there is a lot coming in terms of making sure that your your people do not progress in this country the honorable sabina chege all that she has been doing is to advocate the spirit of the handshake and we are aware of what is happening in this country Bada maombi ya kutupilia mbali kesi dhidi ya mwakilishi wa kike wa kaunti ya Muranga Sabina Chege kukataliwa na kamati ya maadili ya IBC sasa kesi hiyo itangua nanga rasmi Jumanne wiki ijayo ili kubaini ikiwa mbunge huyo ana kesi ya kujibu au la Give us mine K24 katika makao makuu ya IBC Nairobi